You are now in the Soul Studio with your host, JC Caprice, right here on WorldwideCoreRadio.com. Relax, relate, breathe. Yo, what's good, fam? This is your girl, JC Caprice, and you are officially in the Soul Studio. And you know what? This is my favorite part of the week. It is Thursday, December the 12th. And we are on from, uh, what time is it now? It's about uh, 8.05. We're going to be on for extra five minutes. <laughs> we were getting some things together so we can make sure that we can record it and bring it back to you guys. Um, but I'm so excited, man. Your girl is is fighting a cold today, but we're going we're gonna to push through it anywho. I'm so excited about my guests. You guys, you, you, you don't even know. You know how they say in the world you have a twin? Well, I've already met my twin. You know, I think I'm a triplet. Because my guest today is none other than Detroit Zone, Jacquees Purifoy. What up, fam? <laughs> what's going on? How you doing? I'm doing great. How That's you doing? That's what's up. That's what's up. Hey, Jarrell, just a technical thing. Is her mic on? Mm-hmm. Let's check that real quick. What's up, fam? How you doing? Yeah. Doing good. Doing good. You spent some time in the Soul Studio today. Oh, yeah. I'm enjoying myself, too. That's what's up. She said that we need to get some chicken. Chicken wings. Chicken wings in here. All it's flats. so down home. All flats. All flats. Yeah. No no little no, wing dings. No, no wing dings. No drumettes. But those are my favorite. That's great. So we order some. You can have all the drumettes. And I, can have, I love life. that. Deal. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> so how you doing? You alright? Oh yeah, I can't complain. That's what's up. Yeah. That's what's up. Now I met you when uh at the failure lab when we went out there we broadcasted live right out there at the uh, opera house. Right. And um actually I I met you kind of before I even like met you. Oh uh, I think it's the NyQuil talking <laughs> cuz oh, I'm yeah. like, wait a minute, does that make any sense? <laughs> but no. Uh, Jimmy King. Jimmy King, yes. Jimmy King. Fab Five, go blue. Yes. <laughs> yes. Even though I'm a buck, I gotta give respect. Oh. Respect. Respect. Yeah, y'all, yes. got, y'all, got, cru- y'all got crushed, so we, we did. So we, we mm, moving on. Okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, that's all good. No, but I, I met, I met you, um, Actually, he was rocking one of your uh, bow ties. Yes, he was. Actually, the one I have on right now. Yeah. Hounds to Purifoy. That's what's... Uh, yeah, we're we going to get into that, too, you know, about your, your ties. But I, I really kind of wanted to... Uh, um, you know, once once I met him, saw your tie, I was like, man, that tie is dope. Where did he get it from? You know, but... Long story short, met you after the event, and... Um, and found out that you're actually from Detroit. Absolutely, born and raised on the east side. On the east side of Detroit. To all of our east side of what's up? Yeah, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody you want to shout out? Oh, shout out, of course. I always got to shout my mom out. Oh, hey, mom. Uh, Vivian Hurd, she's on Facebook. Uh, my daughter, Jasmine. That's what's up. Um, just, just everybody. My whole Pure Boy collection team who just make me a better person. That's what's uh, up. Yeah, I love you. Oh, she said, I love you. I love it when love is spread. Because I love to spread love. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Now, now, Jaquise, now you have to uh, uh, have my back because I'm battling this cold. I got you. I took some NyQuil. Right. So if I start talking crazy mm-hmm. or if I just fall over and faint, oh. you got the show. So okay. you're going to hold it down for me? I got you. I'm okay, it down. Okay, um, Jarrell, you call the ambulance. <laughs> okay, I'm I ain't going to leave you hanging. Don't leave me hanging, please. <laughs> No, but it's all good. But again, it's an honor to have you in here. Thank you. I'm honored to be here. Yes, ma'am. And you sent me a slew load of stuff <laughs> to to read yeah, on did, you. Did you enjoy that? I, I quite, I did. I really did. You know what I mean? I love reading. And your story is really quite interesting. Um, you know, when you meet somebody, you can't just take them at face value. True. You know what I'm saying? You you, you, you look at you, oh, Jaquie, she just does ties, but there's so much more. What what all do you do? Oh my God! What kind mm-hmm. of what kind of open ended question right, is that? How much how much time do we have? Well, we got mm, T minus an extra five minutes at the end. Oh okay. Let's see. <laughs> what all do I do? Well, first and foremost, um, I'm a mother. Okay. I think awesome. I think that's the most surprising fact about people. Uh, but that people find with me about you. Uh, yeah because you know I'm 31 years old and my wow. daughter is 17 so so anytime I go to Jasmine school you know when people first meet us yeah you know I'm all I'm always a sister mm. we, we need we need your mom's approval for this and I, here she, here I am <laughs> and then when they know that Jasmine's 17 and 31 yeah. people who are, it, I think it just throws them off guard wow and, and they always get you don't look old enough to have a child that's 
uh, 1700 and I, I used to be upset by that and I just say, now nah, thank you. Hmm. And, um, and then if I care to, sometimes I will indulge. Yeah. Um, but I always get caught with, especially when I'm, uh, and it depends on what circle I'm running in. Okay. People are like, so what do you do? You know, they hmm. want to size you up. Yeah. Like, uh, okay. She's got a child. Yeah. yeah. They start they, they confuse. Math. Yeah. They confuse. Uh-huh. So you're 17, you know, your child is 17 and you 31. So mm. what do you do? And, I, and then when I say, oh, I'm an attorney. Mm. <laughs> And I just kind of, I shut them all the way down. Yes, yeah, you do. Know? They start talking, they, they start thinking about their own stuff, how many tickets they ain't paid. Well, yeah, well, that, and they just, how many warrants they at? What have they done with their, with their own lives? Exactly. You know, you just can't, you can't judge people. Um, because I, you know, I, I wasn't asking them mm-hmm. what they did, but then I do. So what do you do? Do you and, 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 and that's where the, they become very uncomfortable. Yeah. Um, so you shouldn't judge people. Right. You're absolutely right now. You know, um, that's so funny you say you shouldn't judge people, but you're a lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> I, well, I just got that. I don't, I don't judge, that's, though. That's even, as, even as a lawyer, yeah, you know, I have, to, have, to have, I have a client. Yeah. Let's just say I have a client who's killed somebody or yeah. a client who has a DUI. Yeah. You know, it's so easy to say, oh, look at you. Hmm. But there's so many people have, who drink and drive, yeah. and you just don't get caught. It's that's like so true. many people who have sex unprotected at 13 and mm-hmm. didn't get caught. I'm not the first teen mother. Mm-hmm. I'm not the first person to have a child at 13. True. Um, so many people have done it, but yeah. did you get caught doing mm. it? So for me, I just, because of my experiences, I just can't judge yeah. other folks. Right. Um, because we've all been there. Exactly. At one point or another, whatever in some it may com- be. In some capacity. For some of us, it's going to be sex. For some of yeah. us, it's going to be drugs. Yeah. Uh, for some of us, it's going to be, you know, different addictions. People got addictions to even food. Come on now. Clothes. Look, I'm, I'm sweets. I love sweets. sweets and bread. You know, <laughs> too much of anything isn't, yeah. isn't good. So I can't, I can't judge. You better say that. Now, how old were you when you had your daughter? 13 years old. 13 I was years a, old. Yeah, I was in eighth grade at Joy Middle School. Mm. I got pregnant the first time I had sex. See, okay, so put a pin there pin for all of y'all who don't think that you can get pregnant the first time well i'm just gonna do it one time Mm-mm. it's possible and it don't matter how brief it is either <laughs> i'm just saying I'm also, it only takes one I'm, a, I'm also a certified hiv aids tester and counselor you better say that, so girl. not trying to be nasty but yeah. you know just to educate people you mm-hmm. know you can be pregnant off pre-semen and pre-cum it can pr- impregnate you girl now break that down okay so that's pre- just from semen and pre-cum pre- yes cum. can impregnate a woman can impregnate absolutely so you do not have to have the full act and the ejaculation yes. so no. the whole myth of, of pulling out yeah it goes out the window pull out with a condom on <laughs> Them. Put it on. Yeah. <laughs> With the right size. Make sure you check the expiration date. Mm. Rub the condom. Make sure there's mm. no hole there's no holes no holes in, in it. So rub the condom. Yes. Make, make sure it has the lubrication on there. Okay. Uh, and don't. For so many reasons. For so many reasons. Please make sure. And, and the whole thing of people like to, uh, you know, I'm going to have my girl put it on. You might want to yeah. put it on yourself because, you know, you got the fingernails. Hello. And different things like that. Yes. You know, and you, uh, be creative. I'm going to put it on a different way. Put, put, put your condom on, right? <laughs> and, and if you're not a man, Magnum, don't buy Magnum. <laughs> Just to be impressive. It's okay. It's okay. Because you don't want to take care of the baby. Right. And I don't want a baby. Exactly. And it's, you know, it's, it's, it's awesome that we can sit back and we can, you know, we can talk about these things. And that's real talk. You know, the things that you're saying is real talk about protection yes. and, and keeping it real. Yes. And yeah. HIV is very real too, as a, yeah. like, a, you know, as a HIV AIDS tester and counselor for the state of Michigan, and we yeah. test at prison. I'm with Gospel Against AIDS, so okay. shout out to Roz Unworthy That's what's uh, with GAA. Uh, we test at meth clinics, mm-hmm. prisons, churches. Wow. You know, basically everywhere, HIV is really real, and it, mm-hmm. and, it, and, it, and it's attacking our community, people of color. Wow. Um, so it's, it's it's still out there, even though you don't hear it right. a lot. Um, but it's very real, and it doesn't discriminate against anyone. And you can be asymptomatic, meaning mm-hmm. that you can have HIV mm-hmm. and not know it. Thirty-three percent of people with HIV are not even aware wow. that they have it. So get tested if you haven't been tested. You can come see us on uh, Jefferson. Yes. Um, Absolutely free. It takes 15 minutes. Mm. Get your results right then and there. A little finger prick and, and send you on and your then way. That's it. Send you on your way. Absolutely. Wow. And the one last thing I'll say too is okay. God has just been so good. You yes. know, to bless me as, as a tester. I had the opportunity to represent Detroit at the White House. Nice. Yeah, but I wanted to get into yeah. that because last you part. met Obama how many times? Twice. Twice. Yeah, absolutely. 
Yeah. Wow. Personally, it, it's, it's just it's surreal. Wow. Yeah. So how was that experience for you? Like how how did that come about? Because you know, just just to back up a little bit. Yeah. You know, you had your daughter. Right. And with a lot of people, they would use that. They would try to use that as a disability instead of making that. You know, taking a diss out of it, making an, an ability to do great things. Right. And for you, you you took that as an ability and you turned it into great things. You even coined uh, from pregnancy to presidency, right? Absolutely. Yeah. The title of my maybe future book that I'm working on. Yeah. This is the first time I've ever heard disability take the diss and make ability. Well, I like to say impossibility to I'm possible. That's dope. So y'all heard that? Uh, I'm possible. Yes, I'm possible. Mm. All caps. Mm. Pound. I'm possible. I love it. Uh, I see a tweet going out. <laughs> tweet it. Tweet it. Yes. <laughs> you can hit me up on Twitter too. D E T B L K Attorney. Detroit Black Attorney. Uh, I'll live tweet if you tweet me if you listen in. Hit me up. Um, and you friend back if we. Oh we yeah, yeah. You, we tweet friend you. back. Yeah, Instagram me. I'm on Instagram. D E T B L K Attorney. I'm on uh, also with Pure Foy Collection. Yes. I'm on all social media. LinkedIn, Facebook. Yeah. Um, I'm doing it all. You can call me two three one three seven four four six one seven one. Dang, she done I'm gave a, out the number. I'm accessible. Three one three seven four four six one seven one. I'm a person of the community. That's so you know my gifts. I can't even say that. It's not my gifts. Right. I've been given these gifts to share. Hmm. So I'm going to share them. Very focused. Very, um, very real. So, so the White House, how so did that come about? Me and President Obama, so after law school, so like you said, I had my daughter Jasmine at 13. Yeah. Graduated from high school at 17. Yeah. Went to the University of Michigan, graduated at 21. Mm. Ann Arbor, go blue. Wow. Went to work for the NAACP. Yes. Then I went to law school, graduated in 2010, mm-hmm. passed the bar the first time mm-hmm. in November 2010. Mm-hmm. Right. Landed a job on Capitol Hill with Congressman Hanson Clark. Yes. Yeah, 13th District. Yeah, right? 13th District. Shout out to Hanson if you out there listening. Yeah. And, um, and just working, doing wow. um, community grants uh, and uh, small business nonprofit work for the mm-hmm. congressman. Mm-hmm. So the first time I met uh, President Obama was January 27, 2012. Mm-hmm. We got a staff of about 20 people or so. Mm-hmm. And the night before, I, I was sworn to secrecy. <laughs> I bet. Uh, I bet. You're going to take Hanson and meet President Obama. And I just I just really couldn't believe it. Just out. Just, they, they just run that on you like, oh, this yeah. is going to happen. You drive it. So, so I took, I used to take Hanson to different events. So right. it wasn't anything out of ordinary. ordinary. Okay. Mm-hmm. But... He could have taken our district director. It could have been anybody who could have taken them. Hmm. Um, and I was selected to do that. And I really don't. I really don't know why. Girl, I was it's like, destiny. You know what I mean? Because because that's you were right where you needed to be. Like I love I love to hear stories like that. A lot of times people think that you have to be already somebody. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And when actuality, you already are somebody. Especially Absolutely. when God has His hand on you. You know that was your your destiny, your purpose, and that was you know, for you in your season. So no, that, that was very deliberate. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, um, you are enough. Yeah. Right now. Yes. You know, I, 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 I work to tell myself that, um, but anyway, so we was, you know, President Obama was going to the university of Michigan. Mm -hmm. And of course, being able to go back to my alma mater, which I haven't been to. So that was 2012. I graduated in 2004. Mm-hmm. So eight years later, to be able to take my boss to go see the first black president of the United States yeah. was such an honor and a privilege. Yeah. Now, one thing about Jacquees, how my life works, is I see what I want before I actually have it, before before it manifests. That's dope. And I like to pray in the shower. Yeah. I feel like that's where God that's the me. best. Dude, that is the best <laughs> place. I, I, I feel you on that because... <laughs> I don't know what it is. Yeah. Is it the water? Is it the isolation? But what it is? But the Holy Spirit, the God does talk to you in there. Go ahead. Yeah, I feel like that's so. That's my that's my zone. So I'm in there the night before, and I'm just kind of praying. I'm thanking God already for the opportunity to meet President Obama. Yes, ma'am. Of course, no one has ever told me I was meeting President Obama. It was never any <laughs> expectation. That was not part of it. It was like drive Hanson. All right. Let him go do his congressional thing. All right. You sit your butt over somewhere on the right. side, and y'all bounce out. And y'all bounce out. <laughs> Um, so when I took the congressman to the meeting, yeah. we go through all the security. There's no lines. One of the best things about working in those kind of politics, mm-hmm. I mean, you, you talk about VIP. It yeah. was just like incredible. They got all wow. these people waiting outside overnight. Mm. We go straight through the security. We go in. Now, when we get inside, they got Secret Service, FBI, and everybody with all these different little bugs in their ear. Yeah. They say, okay, well, Miss Pierre, you got to go sit in the rafters, and the congressman is going to the VIP section. Huh. I'm like, dang, I ain't gonna get to meet the president. Right, like, mm, so close. So we sit right, so close. 
Tulsa. So we separate. Mm-hmm. Then they stand there, Jack Queens. That's dope. Hanson calling me. He waving me over. Yeah. Like, yes. So then we get to walk. So I, I run. Like, yeah. Run over. Yes, sir. Here I am. Here I am. To the press box. There's a whole floor full of so you know the pre- well I don't know if you know but President Obama travels with a whole press. I had no idea his group. own press. His yeah, own press his own people. press people. Okay, and then it was a regular press, uh-huh. Detroit News, and everybody else who was there. Right. So Hanson did some interviews. Then we get into like a pulpit, which was basically the VIP section to the side of the stage. Yeah. Now Hanson, all the Congress people are there. The Bernstein, yeah. Sam Bernstein. What? The call Sam. The call Sam. Everybody who was anybody from Detroit or this area was, yeah. was, in, was the, in there. Mother uh-huh. Watson, uh, Joanne Watson was. Yeah. Every, everybody was in there. So when we get there, it's like okay, they had everybody seats pre-signed. Okay. So it was a whole Michigan delegation wow. with all the senators and representatives, et cetera. I'm sorry, Ms. Purefoy, you can't sit with the delegation. Uh, again, number two. Now I'm thinking, mm. these are people I see regularly anyway. Uh-huh. It was one seat open. You know where that seat was? Don't Tell me. stay right next say to the president. Uh, in the very front row. Wow. One seat in the front Girl, row. Girl, bye. So I'm awesome. Kind of, I'm kind of scratching my head like, <laughs> you mad I can't sit next to people that I see Every day wow, on that one. Right. But you gonna put me? <laughs> you gonna put me in the front row? Okay, not a problem. I love that. So I'm sitting in my front row seat. I love that. Denard Robinson. No, no, nobody around here. No, <laughs> nobody. But I knew that everybody was somebody. Right, was somebody. Yeah, you got including somebody. you, including including me. Amen. So Pure Boy was in the building. Yeah. And so <laughs> President Obama do his speech. Mm-hmm. You know, talking on education, mm-hmm. the importance of education, and, mm-hmm. and how we got to change. Yeah. Um, change things through educating ourselves and just kind of pulling ourselves up and serving Mm -hmm. and serving others (laughs) and after his speech you know everybody stands up and everybody's clapping I'm clapping you know nobody's waving any signs or anything like that President Obama gets off the stage yeah he goes left and I'm standing there and I'm just clapping like everybody else yeah like he stops right in front of me yeah literally cold stop stare me straight in the face so I'm sitting there, I'm, I'm dumbfounded. Uh, right, like, because when he came up the stage, he was walking towards yeah. her. He didn't stop and talk to any other people. Wow. He stopped right in front of my face. So if you look at the picture in my right hand, yeah. so let me back up a little bit. So because I already, I already thank God for meeting the president, Amen. I came ready with my camera. And I saw that in your left hand. And, well, the, the, no, the notepad was in the okay, left hand. Okay, in the pen. The right, right hand, mm-hmm. I had the camera. So I was going to okay. do a little selfie. I had already saw this in my head. Yeah. So the president, like he just did Again. this week, uh-huh. as man, the, the, the Mandela <laughs> yep. Memorial, which I don't know why y'all tripping over that. The president can do selfies too. Right, why not? Hey, you know, he just like the rest he of just, us. Yeah. That's America. That's what we do, I, selfie. I think they forget that. <laughs> That's the reason why they got the camera to face. What's up? Right. You know what I'm saying? They just hate because they hadn't been able to okay. tell me with the president. Right. So anyway, this, President Obama, if you listen, you turn me down for my selfie, and I'm still mad about it. So he says, uh, so I said, President, oh, oh my God, such a pleasure to meet you, President yeah. Obama. Yeah. Can I take a picture with you? Yeah. He said, now you know if I take a picture with you, I'm about to take a picture with everybody. Mm-hmm. I said, okay, plan A down, that's okay. Plan B was, I said, if he don't do the picture, yep. this was the day before, I get him and give me an autograph. Uh-huh. So I got my little notepad in the pen, yep. left hand. <laughs> I love it. He said, what? Well, I said, so President Obama, can you give me an autograph? He said, now you know if I give you an autograph, I'm about to give it yeah, to everybody. Badass. So I'm like, dang. Mm-hmm. I said, and then, so then he says, well, how about we just shake hands? Okay. So I'm like, well, I can't tell the person. No, I ain't shaking your hands. So he shake, shake both of my hands. Yeah. And then we just kind of look at each other and he go off. Now he walks wow. to the end. So I'm like in the middle section. He walks to the end of the, mm-hmm. end of the stage mm-hmm. and come and leaves back out. He did mm-hmm. not stop and talk to mm-hmm. anybody, anybody else. else. My phone started blowing. Oh. My phone started blowing up. <laughs> you look so good with the president. Wow. From my friends. Oh. Talk to my grandma. I said, yeah. What are you talking about? I'm on MSNBC, Rachel Bam. Maddow. I got on the cover of Detroit News. Wow. President Obama shakes hands with VIP. Oh, oh, oh yo. But, look, so I got my picture dope. anyway. That is dope, man. With that being said, we're going to come back. We're talking with Jacquees. Pure boy. Right here on the Soul Studio, man. She's dopeness. Bringing the heat right in here, telling us about her passion and her life and love. We got to pay some bills, but we'll be right back. I'm your girl, Jessica Priest. Keep it locked. And we're back. You are listening to the Soul Studio. I am your host, Jessica Priest, and we be kicking it with Jacquees. 
Shapiro for it, man. If y'all missed it, y'all just missed a story and a half about her meeting with Obama, man. That's 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 fly. We're gonna get back to our special guest. But before we do, we got K I M keeping it moving with Kim. What up, girl? Hey, how you doing? Doing good, chick. How are you? Good. Good. Well, what you got for us today, honey? Well, you remember the uh, reality show Tiny and Toya? Yep. Well, apparently, earlier this week, Toya was arrested. What? Um, it, yeah, for warrants that she had. And uh, she was arrested in, in College Park, Georgia. Uh-huh. And turned out she went to jail and was released, though, on Wednesday morning at uh-huh. 1.30 a.m. on a $290 bond. But Whoa. apparently she just had some type of warrant. They didn't real say real specifically. Right. But, yeah, that just... Well, you know, we we got a lawyer in here with us now. Uh, how much was the two hundred and ninety dollar bond? Two hundred and ninety dollar bond. So, yeah. like, is there is there like a Jaquees? Is there like a, a bigger sum or something that is that like a fraction of a bond yeah, that's or probably ten percent? So that's cheap, actually. That's I, cheap. Yeah, I just had to, yeah, trying to post at least five hundred dollar bond. I didn't, <laughs> you said two ninety. Yeah, that's a good deal. <laughs> did they go by what's in her bank account? Cause she ain't did a show in a minute. <laughs> Yes, yeah, she's been hiding, doing some other things, it looks like. That's what's yeah, up. She hasn't been around. Wow. Okay, well, okay. All right, cool. And then I just want to mention the upcoming movies, because uh, Tyler Perry, um, the Medea movie, uh-huh. Christmas, Tyler Perry, Medea's Christmas is coming out tomorrow. That's right. So that's something to look forward to, to get out and check it out. I think it might be really funny. So I think so, I think too. It. What's it, and the black dude, white dude. <laughs> Tyler Perry is hilarious. He is. It's an American Hustle. It's a drama movie. I like drama movies. Uh-huh. Um, I, that starts tomorrow. And I don't know if you've heard about The Hobbit, but that's another movie that starts tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, I'm one of those nerds. I like the whole Lord of the Rings series. Yeah, I'm a nerd. <laughs> yes. yes. So that's something to look forward to this weekend. And then also, as we speak, they have the Praise Holiday concert oh. going on right now. Oh, nice. Well, I'm sure people, without having a really good time, you know, doing that at the Fox. Yes, praising and the Lord. And upcoming concerts. We got Drake coming on December the 16th. Uh, that's your boy. And yes, mm-hmm. you know it is. Mm-hmm. And Drake. Drake is on December 19th, so it's a lot going on around Detroit. Nice. Coming up, you know, for the holidays and everything. So hopefully everyone can get out and enjoy and have a really nice holiday. Nice, Kim. Yes. Yeah. Damn. It's really good to be back. It is. Be okay. Yeah, because we, 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 you haven't had a segment here in a minute. It's been, what, at least three yeah. weeks. So it's good to have you back, girl. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah. People were asking. Yeah. yeah, this is KIM, keeping it moving and also keeping it minimal. That's my dog. <laughs> All right, Chica. All right, have a good one. You too. Bye bye. Bye bye. That's Kim, keeping it moving. What you think? Kim, keep it a move. Yeah, you. Oh, you want to hear with me? My bad, my bad. Uh, no, that was cool. I like that. Absolutely. Yeah, you know, she's concerts and mm-hmm. doing all that good stuff. Uh, going on if, I, if, I, if I can plug my favorite artist. Would you please? Kim. K-E-M is going to be live at the Fox. I'm about to say, Kim got the thing too? December 20th with Patti LaBelle and Mr. Isley. So shout out to uh, Kim. I love you, brother. And if I wasn't on vacation, you know I would be in the building. Nina Payne, Toya, Will, the crew. Yay. And there's always a lot of good things going on in Detroit. You know, that's, that's one of the things I love is that Detroit is a home of a lot of firsts. You know what I'm saying, and and I mean I think I think Detroit was the first to have the first pavement, you know, highway yeah. and Woodward. Yeah, right, right there. And I think uh, didn't they the the cream ice cream soda come from here from Verner's? Oh wow, yeah, right. yeah. Gotta you know, love that Verner's when you sniff it, make you cough. And don't even. Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, am I the only person who purposely no, sniffed it? <laughs> I do. <laughs> Why I do that? You know, you do that because you know it's gonna make you crazy. You, you're absolutely right, and I, I actually could use some of that right now, to be honest with you. Real talk. Right. But you know, Detroit is so innovative, and there's so many people doing some really cool things. You know, you yourself, you know, we, we kind of got in a little bit about, you know, your history and your, your politics and your um, importance of education, yes. professional development, and, right. and meeting the president. That was a dope story. Thank you. Really. 
saying. Um, but you do something else on the side, and we kind of alluded to it in the beginning about your time. Tell us a little bit about your collection. So the Pure Foy collection is handcrafted right here in Detroit mm -hmm. over at the Fame Shop, Joy Road in Wyoming. The Fame Shop. Yeah, the Fame Shop. Mm -hmm. Um... Yeah, shout out to my to my dude Clement Fame Brown. Mm -hmm. uh, he's, yeah, uh, he's he he's he's dope and yeah. just just and he makes brother. like the he makes like he does hoodies, right? He does the do numbers. Okay, do numbers hoodies. Check mm -hmm. check do numbers dot com out. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, much love to, to, to Clement. But my bow tie, the Pure Foy collection, yeah. it really started, I always like to rock ties. I'm a really non-traditional dressing woman. Me too. You never know, you. you might catch me in a tuxedo. Hello? I might put on a... See, sister, uh, I told y'all this, this is a triplet. <laughs> I might rock a dress or a skirt. <laughs> All right. Put on some makeup, some lipstick. Yes. I mean, you just never know what Jacquees is. So anyway, I was out at Live one night. Shout out to DJ Linda Carter. All right, yeah, she's uh, hanging out with I had on a paisley tie. A dude yeah. came up to me and was like, oh, your tie is dope. I'm like, oh, thank you. Yeah. He's like, I got this bow tie, but I don't have the confidence to wear it. Huh. So me, you know, not really lacking on confidence. Uh, uh, no, not you, honey. <laughs> so not a problem. I turn around, let that dude take off my tie, put okay. on a bow tie. We kind of looked at it. I was like, oh, that's kind of hot. Mm -hmm. So every time I would wear the bow tie, yeah. men would be like, that is hot. Where yeah. can I get your bow tie from? I was like, you can't. It was given to me. Now, was it this style that you're rocking now, or this was this was just a, a regular bow tie? Yeah, yeah, similar, so. similar style, uh, similar. It was, it was like green, the, okay. um, uh, plaid, okay. if you will. Yep. Um, so after about a year of that, <laughs> I was just kind of like, man, I'm really year. sick of people asking me where can they get this stuff from. Mm -hmm. And I don't really have an answer because mm -hmm. as an attorney, you about answers. Right. And if you don't know the answer, you find the answer. Right. So the answer is create your own bow tie line. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I decided to. I met uh, Clement mm -hmm. and we talked about it. I had was going back and forth because mm -hmm. I'm like I'm an attorney. Mm -hmm. I don't make bow ties. I'm not a designer of clothes. Right. right. So I said, well, let me make six. Now, now. Make so the the bow tie that you were rocking. Right, the guy was like, "That's a dope bow tie." Yeah. Was that something you had made? No, it was it was, it was the one that already... the first one was okay. the one he I had, that had, that was given to me. That was given to you, right? So can you sew? <laughs> can I sew? Of yeah. course I can sew. That's what sew. All things are possible. <laughs> Do I... You just see her face with these <laughs> Do I sew? <laughs> no. I employ people <laughs> to sew for you. <laughs> I love it. I love lawyers. I promise you. I promise you. No one lawyer. They are some funny people. Oh, well, you asked the question. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Um, <laughs> but, but to be 31 years old yeah. and to be able to employ others who love to sew is, 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 is a blessing. Yeah. And for me, the Pure Point Collection is really a socially driven mm. business. Mm -hmm. One, because I get the opportunity to employ others. Yeah. And two, a percentage of all my sales go back to Detroit International Academy. Yes. Shout out to Principal uh, Hibbler over yes. there. The Pink Panthers. Yes. Um, they have an organization called Aspiring Attorneys. Mm -hmm. And because of budget cuts, they don't mm. have money for simple things like pizza and pop wow. or field trips. Wow. So for me, every bow tie that's sold, I want to give back to the youth mm. because they are the future and it's not yes. you know it's not you know it's the old adage and you know it's all cliche uh -huh. but I know from being a 13 year old with a baby mm -hmm. mm. with no resources mm. or limited resources mm. it becomes really insurmountable to be able to do what you need to do yes. so all of us who can make a difference in the lives of youth yes. uh, you have to we have an obligation to do that and my bow ties the pure point collection yeah is, is, is that that's what it's about. It does, and it's so cool because I mean, you know, you can make a difference in a, in a little way or a big way. You know what I'm saying? Like right. your bow ties, that's, and they hot too. So they, they hot. They, they have you, they, they increase your swag. Yes, and, you know, because y'all know. If anybody knows me, I rock bow ties. I don't have one on today. I should have. Something told me to because I have a guest that has bow ties. I said, "What bow tie?" But I We're love going forward. Bow ties. Hopefully, we, we had you in that in that pure point. You already oh, know. That's oh, where oh. I was going. That's where yes. I was going. Absolutely. <laughs> we gonna we gonna we gonna get you right. So you can either that's you know purepointcollection yeah. dot com. Yep. It's gonna be up, and that's P as in Paul. Yep. U R I F as in Frank. O Y 
C as in cat, O as in octopus, yeah, L as in Larry, L as in Larry, E as in Edward, C as in cat, T as in Tom, yeah. I as in ice cream, O as in octopus, N as in nancy.com. If you just didn't know how to spell collection or purify, there you have it. That's right. I was like, wait, I got lost after purify. I'm like, okay, what's, what's the other word she spelled? <laughs> You never know. It's you know what I'm good. saying? It's, 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 it's a nice. It's all good. <laughs> I want to make sure everybody trying to like at home trying to write. How do you spell right. terrible? What is that? <laughs> now you you belong to a lot of organizations. How important is that to you? You know, being a native Detroiter. You know, to to have like your business. You have you have a law you have a law firm. Yes, I have a law firm. Too. Yes, law I'm running firm. two businesses. Okay, so break it down. How many businesses do you have? You have a law firm and. Yeah. Purifoy. Yeah, so the law office of Jacquees A. Purifoy, P L L C. I'm over out of Pony Ride okay. on the uh, in Corktown, mm -hmm. uh, Vermont, and Bagley. Okay. I have my law firm, and then um, so that's a shared office space. There's about 40 to 50 different entrepreneurs oh, wow. that work together collectively. Yeah, it's definitely a hot a hot space to be in. Yeah. And then um, I a have a little bit of everybody's in there. A little bit of everybody. I'm the only attorney there. There's a bunch of creative folks. We got uh, Detroit Denim the is there. We got <laughs> Empowerment Plan is there. Detroit Soup is there. Um, yeah, I'm in a very, very yeah. good spot. And then I have the Purifoy Collection, mm -hmm. um, which I'm in two stores, yeah. 1701 Bespoke, which is right outside Campus Marshes Park. Yeah. And I'm also in Kapana Tuxedo on Cashew and Mac, right at the Gross Point Detroit border. Right. Um, so to be heavily, to be affiliated with yeah. your community is yeah. is super important. Of course, you. why? Why you have to? Because you have to give back. We are the community. If we don't help ourselves, no one is gonna come here and save us. I mean, right? Hands hands down. If you unemployed, you're not working. Start at your kid's school. Hmm. Pick up some paper, mow some grass, read to some kids. And if you hmm. can't read, then go have somebody read to you. Huh. There you go. You know, get some help. Because the only way that I was able to grow hmm. and go from being 13 with a kid mm -hmm. to 31 as an attorney mm -hmm. is because of people serving and giving back. Gail Ryder, my AP English teacher, hmm. Who I still talk to. She's, you know, helped me with my daughter's application. Mm -hmm. uh, Don Roby, who is my calculus high school teacher, mm -hmm. she helped me with my math. Mr. Mm -hmm. Goals, who's on Facebook, was my econ teacher. Mm -hmm. I still talk to my kindergarten teacher, Mrs. Moore, so. who came to my all of my graduations, high school, University of Michigan, and my Cooley uh, graduation. Those people believed in me, mm -hmm. stayed after school to help me. They knew that I had a kid, and my life schedule was unconventional. Because I was also, you know, a star basketball player. That's what's up. What um, position you play? I, well, I was really versatile. Okay. So by the time like me, See, when I twin, I was a, I was a three at Dominican. Okay. I was a three, but I could dribble. Yeah. Uh, shoot. Yeah. I can go in the paint. You know, I have four yeah. brothers. Okay. Also, you were you were. So, you were, you so were I was a beast. Yeah. Yeah. I was a beast. Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. Well, I believe we gotta go ahead and pay a little bit more bills so we can keep this thing running. You just heard. Jaquise Purifoy. Purifoy. Yes. Right here on the Soul Studios. It's your girl, Jason Caprice. You all want to get in on this Soul Soul Studio cypher. I know there's been a couple of people who've been talking some Smizak. Now is your time to call the uh, phone number 248-397-8085. Again, 248-397-8085. Get in on the cypher. If you don't, it's going to be me and Jaquise. We about to let it and get it in. Make sure y'all keep a lock. We'll be right back. Shout out to Chuck the intern. Who yeah, ain't Chuck? He he didn't wanna um rap with us on the soul site, but he likes TI. You. you got me next week, next you promise? Week. I promise. Alright, I'ma put it on the rundown. Sure. And I'ma put Chuck the intern. You gonna get a whole segment. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I drill. You know I can't say nothing without saying something to you. That's what's look at him blushing. <laughs> and he and he goes to look at him. Yeah, I see him over so here. Blushing. Hand, Yo, Y'all, this is the Soul Cypher. I wanted y'all to call me in, and uh, it's 248-397-8085. But since y'all ain't calling in, talking all that smack on Facebook, it's going to be me and Jacquees. Is it Jacquees? Because I be trying to give you a hip-hop name like Jack. Yeah, no, no, don't do that. Ja Jack it's, it's refined. It's refined. Okay. It's, it is Jacquees. Jacquees. Purifor. Purifor. If you think hood only when a man, no. Okay, look, look, we about to get mad, right? Let's go in. Let's go in. Ready? Uh, here we go. Yo, 
chilling on the Soul Studio with Jacquees Pierre Foy. What's up, girl, man? Oh, boy. Listen to your story, man. Yo, here we go. Checking this out on the Soul Studio. Uh, hey, you're a lawyer, but yo, I ain't scared. Um, I think I am a little scared because I think I may have a ticket I ain't pay, but that's okay. We're gonna do this anyway. Uh, don't you forget you heard that. I'm just flowing off the dome, so I will know when. So I am knowing. <laughs> She knowing. I'm knowing. Uh, yo, off the dome, man. About to go home, man. Checking out the soul studio. I'm in the zone, man. What? It is your turn. Pass the mic off to you, man. Y'all better learn. Go ahead, Jack. Please, pure boy. On the MIC. Uh, that was just too uh, hot for me to even uh, go after, man. Uh, 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 I just can't. You can't. I just don't have it. You can <laughs> do it. Thank you. Come on, you have fought adversity. <laughs> On the mean streets, Surely. Detroit. Yes, mean streets. Go ahead, just just give me eight bars. Eight bars. What, eight bars. what does that mean? I don't even know. It just sounds good. Eight bars. <laughs> Intern truck. How many b- bars? What I gotta say for that? Eight of them. Eight bars. <laughs> what? Where my like Eight bars, like the bar that you study for. All right, the bar. <laughs> Thank you, man. You are gonna make. And that was the queen. <laughs> Appreciate it. Sorry, my rapping skills are not up to par. My brother will probably be very disappointed because I thought I was going to be in a rap group one time. Yeah. Oh, did you? Yeah, crisscross really? came out. Yeah, we was wearing those cross colors of clothes all backwards. Uh-uh. Biggie jump jump. But like yeah. rapping? Yeah, I thought so. So did you write rhymes? No, my brother wrote them. So you- <laughs> Shout out to Thaddeus Prim. <laughs> Where he at? We need him to call me. I know. 8397-8085 and get in on this. Exactly. My goodness. My bad. So- Sorry I played you on the rapping thing. No, you didn't. Not everybody can. I yeah. had a good time. I probably, I can. You okay. see what I'm saying? I'm, I'm choosing not to rap. Oh, wow. You were, see, see, we got some, you got some dignitaries listening no, 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 on no. this whole city, y'all. I just don't want to make it. We, we can, we can get, we, we can do that. I just want to make an ass of myself. You don't make an ass? Of, look, I just did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is your show, right? You're supposed to make an ass of yourself. Is, yes, you know my opponent. I might be running for president on that. Remember, Doc? We on that show, rapping about girl. Please, Obama be like, I endorse her. That got on that soul studio. They be remixing it. <laughs> That'd be dope. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's up. I'm going to put you on front street, but it's just a little something. I'm going to work on do. it. I'm going to work on it. Will you do it next time? Next show. Come in? All right. That's next show, I, I'm so, going to freestyle. I got 16 you. Bars. Uh, you want to do 16 bars. 16 we're going to find out what that actually is. Yeah. And then we're going to have Chuck the intern. Yeah. He's going to flow for a whole segment without breathing. Wow. Yep. I'm going to take your one breath. I die. You gonna die? You want? Uh, no, but you just that dope. I got something for you though. You do? Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. Next, next show. Next show. That's next show. what's up. But that was the soul cipher. That was fun. It was fun. That was not fun. You was kicking it. I yeah. was trying to. I was gonna go into a zone, but I was like. Back out here, I backed kid, out. Huh? Yeah, I yeah, just, I just. It be like that sometimes. It do be like you just, you just, you know, it's the night girl. I've been blaming the night girl. Like, yeah, I think you're. I don't even know if you really had no night girl. I don't think. I, I think you took I some day quill. Took day quill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but look, so we're going back to your ties. We we're talking about the pure boy. Yeah, pure boy collection. Man. It's dope. You're sitting here rocking one now. Thank you. Looks really good. Appreciate that hound tooth. Yeah. You know, I'm using all the top of the line fabrics. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Where do you get your fabrics from? Sh- Around, I got lad. This right here got it from Chicago. Mm-hmm. You know, get some from New York. Got some imported from London. Wow. Um. So yeah, it's really it's, it's quality. Yeah. Absolutely high quality. Yeah. High couture. Couture. I was gonna say it's like couture. Yes. Oh, we got somebody calling. They, they was probably, trying to get in on the um they was on the cipher. I'm about to be clowning. What's up, Carly? You in on the Soul Studio? <laughs> <laughs> hey, who is this? It's Kobe. Came on unique on Facebook. Oh, what, what's going on, Chloe? Nothing much. How are you? Oh, I can't complain. Kicking it in the in the studio. Uh, yeah, having fun. Just talking about the Pure Boy collection and and Jacquees, what I'm doing in the community, and all that good stuff. What about you? Nothing much. Just got in from school, so I just called to say hi, and all good things are coming to you. No, I appreciate that. What you studying? Uh, psychology. Oh, that's what's up. That's what, yeah. People's heads. I had to withdraw from psychology. That was too hard. <laughs> uh, me too. You know, I started out with psychology. <laughs> I just did my third final. I got my last one next week. Hey, you go, girl. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Keep doing it. <laughs> so when uh, when we going to see you rocking a pure boy? Uh, I looked on, uh, on your Facebook page saying I, I have the neck to be a model. I have off the neck. Oh, that's dope. 
All right. Well, we're going we gonna to work it out. Make sure. I, I appreciate you listening in and continue to spread the word on the Pure Point Collection and what we do in the community to make a difference to employ people and to give back to uh, our young people. Uh, yeah. That's what you have to do. <laughs> That's what's up. Thank that's you. We got we to gotta spread the word. We got to, you know, support our, you know, young black entrepreneurs. Absolutely, support each other. It's all about it's all about us. You know what I'm saying? It's enough for us all to get some. That's right. Um, and lift lift each other. Uh, lift each other. That's up. right. We do not have to be monkeys in a barrel. No, or, or, <laughs> or, or crabs in a barrel. We like hating each other. We need to start, you know, loving each other instead of hating on one another. You better say that. Oh, look at you getting all psychological. On okay, me. yes, girl. <laughs> get it. Show us get it, girl. Right. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming, dear. No problem. You guys have a good holiday and good night. Hey, you too. too. That's what's up. Showing you love in the community. Facebook checking in. (laughs) That is what's up, man. So, yeah, so couture fashion. Yeah, couture fashion. So, you look good. Couture community. Yeah. Pure for with a passion. That's dope. That's what it is. That's what is that fashion you know? with passion. Fashion with passion. Just all all of that. And that's so crazy because you said you weren't really you weren't really into fashion when no. it came about. Well, I'm into fashion because I like high quality things. Okay. Like, I never saw. You know what? I think it's changing the mindset. We're so used to being a consumer. Yeah. Of things instead of a producer. You better say of things. It. So when you want wealth. Yeah. We got a caller calling in. Let we do, up. but yeah, go ahead. You said when you want wealth. When you want wealth, you have to produce things and not just consume things. Girl, not you say it. spend your money, but make money. And I, I'm looking forward to making money when I'm sleeping because the, nice. the website, you better order bow ties straight yeah. from your phone. Yeah. iPhone, Android. That's dope. She wanted to teach me something. Carla, you're in on the Soul Studio. What's up? Where you calling from? What's up? It's your boy Cadillac Jack. I'm calling from uh, the east side. East side? East side? What's up? What's up? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What would you like to say, Cadillac? Well, you know, I'm just calling in. Just, you know, this is my first time calling in. I was just trying to, you know, get a feel for how the show. Give a shout out to the peer, you know, the peer fire collection and everything. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Where you where you uh where you at on the east side, Cadillac? Well, I'm off, you know, I'm over there on six mile, you know, shout out to six mile. Six, six mile? mile. <laughs> That's what's up. <laughs> you went to high you went to high school at Osborne or Denby? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. You went exactly. you went to high school at Osborne or Denby? Uh yeah, both. Both. Oh, they're both? That's what's up, I'm my friend. Yeah, I'm actually close to the Osborne, but I ended up going to Denby. Okay. Uh, my, my brother graduated from Denby. <laughs> That's what's up. I graduated from the board, though, you know what I'm saying, right? You know. Yeah, I was just over there this week uh, at, your, at your library doing uh, some Women of Tomorrow mentoring but over, at, over at Osborne. I did uh, driver training at Osborne, too. So look at that, man. Detroit, man. Y'all just connected. It's just one big family. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you you rock bow ties, Cadillac. Can I get you on a custom pure for I can't hear you. Yeah, yeah, this, I guess it's my phone. I don't, I don't, uh, can't, I ain't breaking up on y'all, man. I'm a Verizon wireless. You know. can, can, you hear me? can you hear me now? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It's breaking, it's breaking. Oh, I know exactly. How many drop calls have you had today? You can't even hold a freaking call. <laughs> right. I did look at you know, the... I called like three times actually, uh-huh. you know, and it kept, it kept dropping. You know? Man, and see, I was, I was kind of, can't, can't be heard. Man, I looked into uh, doing a class action lawsuit. But let me be the first to tell you that it's probably not possible because mm. they have no affirmative duty to provide us quality service. But mm. if there is one, Cadillac, follow me on Facebook. I'd love to make sure you get your money. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up, Cadillac. Thank you so much for calling, man, and you take it easy. Wait, I got one last thing to say to Cadillac. Cadillac, did you call Sprint to get your uh, credit check to tell them your calls drop? <laughs> No, I did You know, I was trying to see what that cipher was about. You know what I'm saying? Right, man. You just missed it. My bad. Yeah, I got. Yeah, that when I get on the phone. I got fifty dollars in credits yesterday. So call, threaten that you're gonna leave them and be all like, you know what I'm saying? You missing out business opportunity. Don't be irate. Just be like, I'm losing money. I run a company or whatever you do. And they and then they uh I, they gave me fifty dollars in credits. Dope. Most people was getting fifteen, but I just kept calling back. And every time I call drop, I will call back. So I end up with fifty dollars credit, fifty dollars in credits. See, you better tell them. You better educate them, girl. I got one hundred twenty. So you got that Cadillac? Uh, that's what's up. You know, that's 
what's up. Wife. Yep. I'm always down, you know what I'm saying? Get them types of tips and things like that. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, absolutely, brother. You can reach me anytime. 313-744-6171. I am the person in the community who's going to share resources. If I can help anybody out there with legal or custom bow ties, holla at Pure for it. Oh, for sure. Yeah, y'all can, uh, you know, just check me out on Facebook. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? It's Rob Jones. You know, uh, I got a page for Cadillac Jack, too. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, you just hit me up. And shout out to y'all at the show, man. Yeah, for sure. I really appreciate y'all, you know. Time to call in, you know? Hey, most definite, man. Make sure you get on the site for next week, dude. We got Chuck the intern. <laughs> yeah, sure. All right, bro. Take it easy. Do that. All right, man. <laughs> that's what's up, Jaquise, man. Thank you. you know, you educating the people, and that's what it's really all about. Because a lot of people, they they just don't know. They just don't know. Yeah, it's about access. The reason why we are down is because we don't have access to the resources to help us thrive. Yeah, and then those who become attorneys and move to Girls Point and get their nice little houses right. and brand new cars. Right. Get disconnected. And you know what? I'll never forget what it's like to be on that bridge card. I'll never forget hmm. what it's like to have my lights cut off and yeah. not to have food. Yeah. I'll never forget that. One, yeah. because I never want to be in that place again. Amen. And if every person I can help, help them get out of that place or stay out of that place, yeah. I'm going to die doing that. That's, that's dope, man. How can we get at you again? You can hit me up on Twitter. D E T B L K Attorney, Detroit Black Attorney. You can hit me up on Instagram. Same thing, D E T B L K Attorney. You can hit me up on Facebook, Jaquees Purifoy. You can hit me up on the Purifoy Collection on Facebook. I'm on LinkedIn for those professional business people who want to chop it up on the business level. Yes. And uh, my cell phone directly straight right here. 313. You can call now. I'll answer it on there. 313 <laughs> Seven one. I'm very accessible, and I am busy. Yes. So leave a message. Yes. If I don't answer, <laughs> right. We'll get back to you. <laughs> but I get back to you. Yeah. No doubt. So in the future, what you got? What you got up for the future? For the future, you know what I'm working with? Uh, hot sauce. The band Hot Sauce. Yeah, dope. Uh, Detroit song. Yeah, hot Detroit sauce, song. Baby. Hot Sauce. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Nina Payne. Yeah. You know they are getting ready to get to, get on the road for the Kim uh, tour. Nina nice. is. But Hot Sauce and I are going to be serving meals to homeless at Cots. Very good. We don't have the date yet. Okay. However, if you're interested in um, coming over and serving with us, my law office yeah. and the bow tie, the Pure Foy Collection is going to sponsor a dinner or lunch mm-hmm. for the homeless over at the Cots nice. Shelter. Also, the Pure Foy Collection teaming up with Rebel Nail. Yeah. That's R-E-B-E-L Nail N-E-L-L. Uh-huh. They do custom jewelry. We're going to have a bow tie and cufflinks affair the week before oh. the auto show. We're looking at January 10th. Yes. But more details coming soon. Nice. And please keep us in the loop here because you know I will promote the heck out of what you got going on. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Most definite. And make sure you're not a stranger either. You know, I keep talking about um, I'm doing another show and bring some folks back. So we're looking to do that. So I definitely want to definitely have you come back. My triplet. <laughs> Absolutely. You man. Thank you. you. Know, thank you so you much too. for hanging out with us here. Absolutely. It's been fun. Most definite, man. That is Jacquees. Jacquees. You got it. Pure boy. The one and only. The one and only. Can't nobody match. <laughs> Can't nobody compare. This girl is doing some things, man. Make sure if you all have a dream and a vision that you get out there and do it. Don't make, don't turn your disability, don't be a disab- disabled person. Okay? Be well, able. <laughs> If you're not disabled. Exactly. Don't be disabled. Meaning, you know, having having yeah, exactly. You know, free your mind. Believe that you can do anything that anything that happens in your life is for a purpose and you never know how it's going to be used to push you into your season. So make sure that you just